All right guys, so in today's video, we're gonna go over the True Cut reel mower and we're gonna talk about some of the pros and cons of using this reel mower as a homeowner. And uh, hopefully you'll get some good information out of this and it'll help you on a decision if maybe you wanna buy a reel mower, possibly you're looking at the True Cut or uh, just if you're kinda just wanna know about reel mowers in general, hopefully this will help you out just a little bit. All right, so first I wanna go over some of the cons of this machine. Uh, I figure it would be best, let's just go over the cons, get those out of the way. The number one con for me are these wheels. Now, there's a lot of advantages to the wheels on this uh, True Cut, but there's some disadvantages too, and some of the disadvantages that uh, really just drive me crazy are the tracks that it leaves behind. It really puts, you got two pressure points here, and for whatever reason, I don't know if it's the weight or whatever on that on certain sides, and it's mostly on this left, and I think it's because there's there's more stuff over here on the left side, but you can see the tracks of almost like scalping when you, um, when you mow with this mower uh, and the wheels. Uh, even with a roller on there, it, the, the tires, I don't know what it is, but the weight or something, it leaves tracks, it leaves scalp marks, and um, it drives me crazy. Like, I don't want them there. I would love to get rid of the wheels, but at the same time, there's a lot of advantages because this also helps you get to areas that maybe you normally couldn't do with a normal uh, greens mower that would be used on a golf course. I know uh, some mowers, I think the Toros and John Deere's, uh, they have transport wheels, but you can't mow with those wheels on. So that would be one of the cons for me are the wheels but at the same time there are pros for that as well. Another con for me is gonna be how loud this mower is. This particular mower has the Honda GX 160 engine, uh, but this mower is really, really loud. It hit it, it about just, I mean, you can hear any And normally I actually try to mow with the throttle on the, in the low position, but um, for the longest time I just mowed with it in the high position and it was really, really loud. I think this is one of the louder real mowers, but uh, you know, that may not bother you at all. For me though, it bothers me because there's a lot of times I need to mow and I've got my two and a half year old running around outside and, I, and it's really hard for me to mow and kind of hear what's going on there. So that bugs me and uh, that's another con for this mower for me. And the third con for me, the third and final con for me, is how you adjust the reel to bed knife on this mower. You've got three bolts on each side of the mower. So once you loosen those three bolts, then you can adjust the reel to the bed knife. And it's a finicky process because when you start tightening these bolts back, um, your adjustment goes off a little bit. And there are a bunch of different methods that I've found that supposedly work uh, on like the lawn form stuff. There's a whole thread dedicated to true cuts. And you know, it's like if you tighten the bolt at two o'clock first and five o'clock, you know, and so on. I've tried it, it's just, I haven't found a method that really works for me yet. Uh, it's, it's almost like you just get lucky sometimes. So adjusting the reel to bed knife is horrible on this machine. It just, it is what it is. It's a great machine, don't get me wrong. I, you know, but you have to list the cons, you have to let people know these things. Uh, for me, the pros have outweighed the cons. So with that said, let's go ahead and move to the pros. So for the pros, we'll go ahead and start with uh, kind of the con is the are the wheels. And for the pros, the wheels, like I said before, really helps you get up and down hills. It's good for traction. Uh, it's, it's, so there's good to the wheels, a lot of good to the wheels, but again, like I mentioned in the cons, there are a few things that I don't like about them. Another pro is how you adjust the height of cut. This handle here is very easy. Now mine's been modified because I bought it used. It didn't come with the right hardware here, but I have to unscrew this nut here and then adjust to where I want it to be, where I think the new ones, it has like a spring-loaded handle here where you can adjust and you don't have to go through all this. But adjusting, the high to cut on these machines is very easy. I like that a lot. Um, I know that with some of the more professional greens mowers, it is more difficult. And another pro of this machine is backlapping. I find the backlapping very easy. Once you get the reel to bed knife set, backlapping to me is super easy. 
You've got a nut on the side here. You use a drill with the right socket on the end of it. You reverse the reel so it's spinning backwards and you use the compound and the brush on that. So very easy to back lap this machine. So I'm good with that. Another pro for me would be the quality of cut. I think it does provide a very nice quality of cut. I think without the, without the tire weight or whatever that leaves the, the marks behind, I think the quality of cut would be really good. So I do think the quality of cut is good. Like I said, it's easy to adjust the height of cut. The wheels are good for traction, getting up and down hills. If you don't have a perfectly flat yard, that's really good. Another pro is like some of the McLean's and the California trimmers. This machine can be had for a good price used on the used market. Now brand new, this machine is gonna run over two grand, uh, but used, you can find it much cheaper. I found this mower for about $500 and you could probably even find them cheaper than that in pretty good condition. Um, but I would say five to $800 for a decent condition mower would be a, uh, a good price. Now this is an older unit. It's definitely not one of the newer True Cuts, but hey, it does the job. It does the job very well. I've been very happy. I think it's been a great investment for me this summer. Uh, this was my first year at this house. And so I, I did a lot of building. I did a lot of uh, working on the soil and, and really just growing in the grass that was left. This machine was incredible for that process. I needed to cut often, I needed to cut low, I needed to promote growth, and this machine is what allowed me to do that. I don't think I could have the results I have right now without this machine or any other real mower for that matter. So guys, I, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you uh, learned a little bit about the True Cut. You know, this is not a very big detailed review, but I uh, just wanted to share some of my thoughts about the mower, the pros and cons, and hopefully this helps you in your purchase of your next mower. I can't tell you anything about the McLeans. I can't tell you anything about California Trimmers, Toros, John Deere's, Jacobson's, the Swardman's. I can't tell you anything about those because I've never used them. This is all I've used. Uh, and for a homeowner that wants to get into the real mowing thing, uh, this is a good machine for that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. See more like these. Hope you enjoyed it.